Hello everyone, today's story is called After the Storm by Nick Butterworth. I thought I'd read it to you because the last couple of days we've had some really stormy weather. What is a storm? A storm is raging outside and Percy the park keeper is having a sleepless night. When he gets up the following morning, Percy finds that the old oak tree has been blown down. It is a disaster for his animal friends who live there. But Percy is soon devising a plan to help his little friends find new homes. Percy the park keeper couldn't sleep. Outside his hut there was a great storm raging with thunder and lightning and pouring rain. Percy wasn't frightened by the thunder and he loved to watch the lightning. It lit up the whole park. He didn't even mind the rain. But there was one thing that Percy didn't like. He didn't like the wind. It blew down the fences in the park. It ripped off the branches of the trees. He didn't like it one bit. Oh, oh dear, he said as he watched from the window. The wind tugged at the trees making the creak and groan. It looks like I am going to have a very busy day tomorrow. He pulled his pillow over his head and he tried to get some sleep. There outside his window you can see the raging wind, the thunder and lightning. Percy woke up early in the morning the wind had stopped and the sky was clear. Percy loaded his wheelbarrow with all the things he would need to make repairs and he cleared up the storm. Then he had to set off to inspect the damage. Perhaps if you're out walking today, you might be able to see some of the damage the storm has done over the last couple of days. He felt happy as he took deep breaths of fresh air. Perhaps the storm wasn't too bad, but he thought he'd better go and check. He was wrong. Something dreadful had happened. A great big oak tree that had stood by itself on top of the little hill had been blown over by the storm. The giant tree had been one of Percy's favourites. Now it looked very sad, lying on its side with its mass of tangly roots sticking up in the air. But it wasn't just one of Percy's favourite trees. Some of his animal friends lived there too, and now their home was wrecked. Percy hurried up to the fallen tree. The animals all gathered looking at the fallen tree. They were cross and unhappy. When they saw Percy, everyone started talking. Percy sat down with his friends and he listened as they told him how the storm had brought the great tree down. Now we've got nowhere to live, said the badger. Some of us live in the tree and some of us live under it. We are all homeless. Some of, the, some of the rabbits looked close to tears and the fox was very sniffy. <laughs> we lost.
lost our home. Percy passed him a handkerchief and the fox blew his nose. Percy stood up. Well, he said, we'll just have to find you another home. Come on, everyone, jump into my wheelbarrow. The animals felt better now that Percy was with them. First, he took them to the pine wood, but nobody wanted to live there. It's too dark in here, they said. Too gloomy, said the hedgehog. So Percy took them to the shrubbery, but nobody wanted to live in the shrubbery either. No big trees in here for us, said the squirrels. No big roots, said the rabbits. Never mind, said Percy. We'll cross over the stream and see if we can find a new home for you. Percy began to push the heavy wheelbarrow over a little bridge that crossed the stream. But as he got to the middle of the bridge, two things happened. Have you seen that picture? What's happened? Oh dear. Percy stumbled and the wheelbarrow decided to see what it would be like to be a boat. Splash! They both ended up in the water. Suddenly, Percy and his friends found themselves drifting downstream to where the stream opened into a lake. Percy stood and he looked up and around. I think we're going to have to paddle back to shore, he said. Then something caught his eye. Hmm, no, wait, said Percy. Let's paddle across to the other side of the lake. I have got an idea. The animals all looked a bit puzzled. What? Percy up to. There they are paddling to the other side of the lake. Slowly they paddled the wheelbarrow across the lake. Here we are, said Percy. The squirrels jumped ashore and tied the wheelbarrow to the roots of an enormous hollow tree. Now, this is my plan, said Percy. Everyone gather around. Is everybody clear what we have to do? Percy explained their idea to them. Everyone nodded. Yes. Right, he said, let's get to work then. Come on. They began by unloading all Percy's tools and the planks of wood from the wheelbarrow. Then Percy explained exactly what he wanted them to do. He showed the badger how to use a saw. He showed the squirrels how to knock some nails in. He showed the fox how to drill holes. And the rabbit screwed the screws in. The mice kept fetching and carrying for everybody else. At lunchtime they took a short break and then they got busy again. What do you think they might be making? At long last their work was finished. A very tired Percy stood back to admire his work. Oh, he said, not bad, not bad at all. Now the squirrels had a brand new home. So did the mice. 
and so did the rabbits. And so did the badger and the fox and the hedgehog. In fact, everyone had a new home, a new place to live. Well done everyone, said Percy. This is the best tree house ever. What about you, Percy? called the badger. Aren't you going to join us? Percy smiled. I think I'll stick to my old hut, he said. Besides, said Percy, taking an acorn out of his pocket. I have one job left to do back at the little hill. There's the acorn. What do you think Percy's going to do with the acorn? I think so. I think he's going to plant it into the ground. tree. Takes quite a long time though. Snip, snap, snout. The story's out. The end. See you soon. Bye.